Hi there and welcome to today's quick tip video. Today's topic is somewhat of a technical matter. We're focusing on the media bay and how it acts as a central library for all of our media on the computer. But what about the media we don't have on the computer? What about the media that we want to take from studio to studio or home computer to the studio computer? In the past, attributes that you tagged would only stay centrally on the one computer. Attributes are things like tempo, media type, rating, the date modified, style, substyle, key. All of these attributes help us find specific things inside of our library very quickly. It's now possible to have the whole media bay stored on an external hard drive and have the tags and attributes stored on that hard drive. So basically, we've got a portable library that works on multiple computers. First of all, let's look at how easy it is to tag attributes inside of the media bay. I'm going up to my file system and opening up my local hard disk. The G drive is my portable hard drive. Now in this file, I have lots of projects that I've worked on so I can go and find aspects of different projects, but I'm after the funky house sample library. When I want the media bay to scan a folder, I tick the box to the left hand side. When the color goes red, it means the media bay is working in the background scanning these folders. In the meantime, I can get to work tagging attributes. Now this is a brass folder and you can see the media type is audio and the tempo has automatically been detected as 100. I'm moving down to the drum loop folder and I'm going to tag all of these as drum loops. I click on one sample and then hit select all which is control A. I'll move over to the category and select drums and percussion. And now I can move over to the subcategory and select drums and percussion and one of the subcategories that are there. Now these are drum loops, so I'm going to select beats. If you find you're unable to tag any attributes, go down to the settings menu on the left hand side and ensure that allow editing and results list is ticked. Now that will allow you to tag attributes of these samples on your external hard drive. There are so many different attributes that you can use to tag these samples. But when you're done tagging, it's time to set the volume database so that you can take this external hard drive and go away and use it on multiple computers. I've gone back up to the top of the file system to find the local hard disk and specifically my external hard drive. By right mouse clicking on the hard drive, I can scroll down to the bottom of the menu and select Create Volume Database. Cubase will immediately go to work creating the external volume database. Now it's done it fairly quickly on mine, but I only had one folder ticked. If you've got a large hard drive with multiple files, just be a little bit patient. Should you ever want to remove the database, just right mouse click and select Remove Volume Database. Cubase will prompt you and ask you if you want to import the database entries. At this point in time, I'm cancelling because I want to keep the volume database on my external hard drive. 